Hey, I'm in Riley Caldwell, not your ordinary agent. I'm actually walking one by one through the different steps of the home buying process. If you haven't already watched it, you might want to check out the video that I did that walks you through those steps really quickly and tells you what they are. Uh, number four in that process is making an offer. Um, by now, we've already had multiple conversations about your real estate goals, what it is you're trying to accomplish. Um, you've already gotten pre-approved. We've already searched for homes. Now you found one. So there is a form here in Middle Tennessee called a purchase and sale agreement. There are also usually other uh, documents uh, that go along with that agreement, depending upon what type of loan you have, depending upon also um, there will just be a confirmation of agency about who, uh, what real estate brokerage and real estate agent is representing the buyer and the seller. There will be some property condition forms that the seller will have filled out. There'll be some other things going on that we will be talking about and going over that are very specific to the home that you have chosen to make an offer on. But the main agreement that we are concerned about is filling out the purchase and sale agreement. Um, hopefully if we were able to talk in great detail in time before we just went out and started searching for homes, we will have already gone through this agreement and you will understand the overall uh, terms of the agreement, what we're really hopefully doing at this point is filling in the blanks. Um, we're filling in the boxes, we're making final decisions about things that we've already talked about. Uh, the, some of the main things in the purchase and sale agreement is other than some specific property details that have to be filled in, obviously purchase price, Purchase price is usually the number one thing that comes to mind, both for people making the offer, which would be you trying to buy the home and sellers and trying to decide between offers. Purchase price is not always the number one thing that a seller is concerned about, but obviously it's gonna be somewhere at the top of their list, if not number one. Uh, secondly, we're gonna be telling the seller whether you're paying cash or whether you're getting a loan. And if you are getting a loan, what loan type um, that's also going to impact what houses you're probably going to want to make offers on to some extent. That is another conversation that we need to have. Um, but there, you will also be deciding whether you want to do inspections or waive inspections. So we will be talking about the pros and cons of waiving an inspection or doing an inspection. There will be a time frame to do inspections if you want to do them that you will be putting into that purchase and sale agreement. Um, if you are gonna do inspections, there's also a time frame uh, for a resolution. If there are any issues that come up on the inspection that you choose to reach out to the seller uh, to try to negotiate uh, whether or not they're going to do anything uh, to the home based upon that inspection report and if so what and what that looks like again those are strategic things as well as you know what it is that you want to accomplish and what it is you might want to have fixed and we're going to be talking about that in the offer we're also going to be putting in a closing date um, and again the seller will either agree or ask for a different closing date on a counter offer watch my video about negotiation and contracts where I go into a little bit more detail about uh, the negotiation part of the process and actually getting under contract. Um, also, there are potentially special stipulations that we'll want to talk about. Lots of purchase and sale agreements don't necessarily have those, um, but there may be specific things either related to your situation or related to the home or something that we know about the seller or the home that we need to deal with in a very specific way that is not already part of the contract. Uh, we'll also be um, putting in some terms with respect to seller expenses, buyer expenses, title expenses, and how those are gonna be handled and who's actually gonna pay for those. Um, so anyway, there are a number of things that will be very specific based on the home that you choose and based upon what your objectives are. So reach out to me. We can have more of a conversation about that. We definitely will have more in-depth conversations once we get to the point together of you making an offer. But let's work together. Let's get you into that new home. You can reach out to me by calling me at 615-930-0313. Visit my website, notyourordinaryagent.com. There's all kinds of ways to get a hold of me there and also quickly get to my social media channels. Be sure to check Check out my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when new videos come uh, live. We're putting up new videos every single week and I would love to talk to you about your situation. So reach out to me.